Hello guys, you are welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about two wire and three wire controls. I am beginning with the two wire controls. So, in two wire controls, we have the contactor A1, A2, and then the hold on on the contactor, normally open contact, which is 13, 14. We have overload. 95 96 now let me explain what is two wire controls two wire controls is a type of control circuit whereby only two wires are connected to the control switch so in this case we are going to use a selector switch as our control switch we have our trunking or conduit this way now we have the selector switch we are using the open side the normally open side this side is the normally open now we are wiring a simple direct online using two wire control method we connect live to 95 of the overload from the 96 it goes to one side of the selector switch it passes through this trunking Then from the other side of the selector switch, it goes to A1 on the contactor. Then we connect neutral to A2. So this is two wire control circuit. In this type of control circuit, only two cables or wires pass through the conduit or the trunking so let's assume that the panel can be far away the panel will consist of the contactor and then the overload relay the contactor and the overload relay but the control switch will be far away from the panel or they can all be on the same panel but in either case we will have only two wires that will go to the control switch this makes this circuit a two wire control circuit. Let's do the wiring. This is the selector switch. We are using the normal open side, the green side, contactor and overload. This is live and neutral. From the live, it goes to one side of the overload, 95. From 96, it goes to one side of the selector switch. From the other side of the selector switch, it goes to A1 on the contactor. Then we connect neutral to A2. We are done with the wiring. You can see that only two cables came to the switch, the control switch. Only two cables. This makes it a two-wire control circuit. Let's on the main breaker. Now, when I turn the setter switch, the contactor would energize. This is a two-wire control circuit. We can equally use a float switch instead of this selector switch. Let's move on to the three-wire control circuit. With the three wire controls, we have our contactor K1, A1, A2, the normal open 13, 14. Then we have the overload 95, 96. The three wire controls, it is a type of control circuit whereby three wires are connected to the control switch. We have our trunking or conduit pipe. We have stop button start button now you connect line 1 to 95 of the overload from 96 it goes to one side of the stop button the other side of the stop button will connect to one side of the start button the other side of the start button will now go to a1 on the contactor so now we have two wires this is stop 
start from the live it came to one side of the overload which is 95 from 96 it went to one side of the stop button this is cable number one from the other side of the stop button it connects to one side of the start button from the other side of the start button it goes to a1 on the contactor this is cable number two now with this when you press on the start button the contactor will energize but when we release our hand it will de-energize because this switch will open therefore we have to connect a hold on for the contactor so you connect the 13 to the a1 then you connect the 14 it will come down so we have connected the input side of the start button to to a1 through the 13 14 let's connect the neutral when you press on the start button this contact will close therefore current will flow through through this line to the a1 and then the contactor would energize the moment the contactor energizes this contact it is a hold on on this to close let's see what will happen current will pass through this wire through this close contact then to the same a1 terminal so in this case when we remove our hand from the start button it will open but because current is passing through this wire and this contact is closed the contactor will, will remain on so here we have three wires one two three this makes it a three wire control circuit let's do the wire we have our stop and start push button we are going to use the same contactor and overload from the life to 95 of the overload from 96 from the other side of the stop button it goes to one side of the start button from the other side of the start button it goes to a1 now from the input side of the start button it goes to 14 from 13 it goes to a1 then we connect neutral to a2 now we are done with the wiring let's count the number of cables that's connected to the control buttons one two and three we have three cables this makes it a three wire control circuit let's on the main breaker when i press on the start button the contactor would energize i release my hand but it is still energized why because when i press on the start button current pass through this wire to the a1 to energize the contactor as the contactor energizes this contact close let's see something here current pass through this wire through the 1314 which is now close to the a1 so that when we remove our hand from the start button because this contact is close current is too flow through to keep the contactor in energized state so this is a three wire control circuit one two three we can also use flow switch or lemma switch in place of this letter switch kindly follow the page if you are watching me on youtube then subscribe to the channel i'll see you in my next tutorials thank you